<laughs> oh, my titties are to play. <laughs> Anyways, let me do the intro first. I look like a bad bad bitch. Open up, you open up. Hit you one baby M. We should be close to friends. Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. If you new welcome, make sure to the subscribe. Hi, what's up? And what it do or the in new intro um new intro is hi guys welcome hi guys my name is Ami Audi Mundo if you welcome and if you're to the subscriber hi what's up and what to do <laughs> I like both intros I just don't know but my go with the one um so I'm back again with another video sit down video you know what it is you know what to do standard procedure Anyways, so today's video, I'm going to be doing a university advice video because varsity is starting, guys, in about a month. That's if everything goes as planned or currently knocked out. So, if everything goes as planned, then we'll definitely be starting varsity. But first, we'll be starting varsity in end of August, beginning of September, somewhere there. But yeah, I decided to film this video because I feel like no one is ever there to do it for me. And. I'm all in to do it for the new kids. I'm all in because I needed this and I couldn't find it. And I feel like, why not? <laughs> why not? So, I got a few of my, I got a few people from my contact list to send me advice, like advice they would give to a first year, and they came through. They came through. So some people decided to do videos. I think I have two or three videos. I'm not so sure. Um, so I'm gonna be playing them as I read messages. From my sister's phone. So some of them, as some people send messages, so I'm going to be reading them. But first, I'm going to be start starting by giving you guys like a rundown of my university experience, a recap of like my first year. Um, I'm going to be starting my third year in August. I am doing my third year in law. So yeah. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, get started. Actually, before we get started, please do like share please do like comment and subscribe and share with your friends who are starting varsity or like your little sister that's starting varsity anyone really so yeah please do that for me and follow me on my social media it will be down somewhere here and you know what i mean so yeah let's get straight into the video so i'm gonna be starting with my my experience firstly <laughs> my experience Okay, my first day was not so actually let me be honest my first day was bad it was bad because when i got there i don't know i don't know anything and i'd like to thank a lot of people that helped me out i had a poor i had a satana i had, like so many people helped me out they may not have helped me personally but they helped my friends and my friends helped me and i'll talk about that in a few minutes but honey you're gonna need some help i so i would like to say my first year was horrible um i don't understand how to read cases i didn't by god's grace i actually passed my first year i will say that my second year it was better because i started studying i knew that i had to study i knew that i had to study in my first year don't get me wrong but like i just you know when you read but you don't know if you're doing the things that need to be done that's what happened my first year like i read i did my part but it looked like I wasn't getting there. It looked like, like I wasn't doing anything. anything. And it was really frustrating because even my marks are just. But like, I, th I think I'll say that for semester one. But semester two. <laughs> semester two, I had got it in my bag. Semester two, I was the girl that I thought I was. I would lie. From first year semester two, I understood a lot of things. Moving on to like semester three, semester four, and now I'm now going to semester five. So, the lessons I learned are be patient with yourself, generally speaking. Be patient with yourself. What I mean be patient with yourself is don't rush yourself to understand content the same way anyone else does. Um, own pace, own race. Like, I keep saying this and I learned it in first year. Own pace, own race. So be patient with yourself. 
Um, the second one is compare yourself. Don't compare yourself. Same thing to patience. Don't compare yourself. Your journey is your journey. I'm no baby. It's your journey alone. If you know what I am. I know myself. If I don't study, I'm not gonna pass. <laughs> Period. Who? If I don't study, for your point blank. If I don't study, I'm not gonna pass. I am. Um, I can't consider myself naturally smart. Uh, am I smart? Yes, but am I naturally smart? Like I can't. If I don't read, I'll pass. I haven't found like a module or anything that I can do that I don't have to master to pass. So I know myself in that area that I have to study to pass. So I do that. Every test. I study. I start studying two, three weeks in advance. And you know how some people work well under pressure? That's not me. Two days before the test or hours before the test, I'm crying buckets because I start freaking out. Just go watch my like get ready with me. The previous video, you'll understand. Like I talked about it a bit and how, how I just normally have like mental breakdown before writing. And then the next thing is money management. Guys, I wish somebody decided to like sit me down before sending varsity and tell me how I need to manage my money wisely. Because the first six months, actually, was it six months? August, September, October, November, December. First five months of school, I was bad. Ah, honey, I was bad. I was bad. Ask me how I spent my money from August until December. I don't know. I can only account from last year, January, until now. That's the only month I can account for. I know what I spent my money on through science. From uh, my first six or five months of school, crazy, you will be asking somebody else because that's not me. I, I don't remember what that money was for. And I would really wish to tell my brothers and sisters. I don't know if I can call them little because I'm probably saying the age is me. But my little brothers and sisters, you guys manage your money wisely because you're not going to squander all your money and then apply your money. I feel like it's not a bad, it's not a bad thing, <laughs> honey. It's not a bad thing, <laughs> but I just feel like it's best you manage your money wisely because we're all growing up, and I feel like it's important that we all learn how to use our money wisely. It's just something that I feel like we should all learn. You know, but it's, sometimes you need to ask money and daddy for money. Oh, you know, yeah. Um, the other thing is there's only so much you could do. If you studied, if you have read material, what if you've done? everything in your power if you fail you fail like i know some people are like um after some after some people fail it's always sabad. guys sometimes it's tough sometimes things don't work out and it's okay you know it's okay for things not to work out it genuinely is um so if you studied if you did your part and your part wasn't enough for that particular time it's fine and Gyamoko says delay is not denial. So just because I may have failed this test does not mean I'm denied. I'm done. My life is done. No. That's the That's not the case. I mean, that's not the case. So I think that's my advice. Just be patient. Don't compare yourself. Money your money, money, money. Hmm. Uh, manage your money wisely and thirdly, there's only fourthly. Yeah, the fourth one is there's only so much you can do. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> that was a boot bar. I'm gonna take that out. Or I might just play it. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to get started on reading the messages. I got quite a lot, you know. Yeah, so this year might be long. Um let's get started. So this first message was sent by um my friend Loabile. <laughs> Um, Rai Bilo said, I think the most significant thing is to surround yourself with the right people. Get yourself friends who can help you focus. Yeah. I'm probably going to play an applause every time I say anything, you know? Because I'm also reading to myself, guys. You know, <laughs> there's never enough advice that you can get. So, yeah. um, the next advice is, I would say, um, give your classes first priority. Work hard from the get go because it's easier to maintain a high GPA than to try pick it up during the course of the year. So true, so so true. true. Um, put your phone down. Phones are mad addictive and one of the biggest distractions we can get. So self control and discipline is very crucial. 
have time for fun. I mean, a lot of fun never told nobody, but no, when to have fun and when to get serious. Study to understand, take your time and find a studying strategy that works for you. Attend your tutorials and even see your lecture during visiting hours if you're having a hard time understanding certain concepts. Choose your friends wisely. Friends should radiate positivity and influence good things. These are the most these are the most crucial years of life. They determine what type of life you're gonna have. Lastly, if you're getting an allowance, use your allowance wisely. Save as much as you can. It just might be start be the start of capital you're gonna need down the line. This is from my friend Amahala Muntiwa. I hope I said her name right. But yeah, she sent that to me and I feel like she nailed it. Like she said all the concept. Visit your lectures. That's the most important thing I can say to anyone. Visit your lectures. <laughs> so yeah, I can honey, visit your lectures. Um and then my friend my other friend Sakavo said constantly being under pressure will affect you drastically. That's why it's important to sometimes take a break from your books and relax. Treat yourself to lunch. What's your favorite show? Binge watch YouTube, YouTube videos. Mine. <laughs> Soft like. Um, or even read a novel that you just downloaded. You don't have to feel guilty about anything because many have had mental breakdowns due to always worrying about school. Most importantly, choose your friends wisely. The company you keep in mind will either make or break you. I see nothing but facts. Generally, it's facts. Take breaks. I wish I could take my like take some of the advice and actually take breaks, but that's not something I do. So next semester we're implementing that, babies. So yeah, next advice. Um, the previous one was from Sakabo. Don't know if I said it, but yeah. And then Kilabugile said, "Do what you're passionate about, so it backfires. So when so if it backfires, you are the one that takes the blame, not somebody else. Also, have fun. College is fun. Don't be too busy." For fun, balance your books and fun. It should be a seesaw. Balance this one. Balance this one. Is it equilibrium? Something like that. Um, my Kitimetsu said. Kitimetsu Moroti said. Um, if you don't have her, go watch your YouTube channel. Go watch your YouTube channel, guys. I'm gonna give you two seconds to like fetch her. Probably it down below. <sighs> my parents keep calling me anyways um she says um you should find a study buddy one that will actually motivate you to study and then one one who will, one who will also uplift you when you're demotivated just choose the right friends in general friends that you make just for fun will finish you um also, no one's responsible for learning but you. People are snakes in these streets. Don't depend on anyone ever. Always go the extra mile for yourself because no one cares about you. If you need help with your assignment, don't count on your classmates all the time. Go an extra mile. Find info for yourself. Test dates and times. Always write them down for yourself. Even assignment duties. Have your back always. Don't be too, don't be too dependent on other people. And also, learn to work well with others. I think it's nice seeing the same faces every semester in a few FDs. So if possible, assist your fellow classmates. Remind them of quizzes and assignments. If someone asks you a question or asks or for asks you asks <laughs> you a question or one clarification, actually help them. Iron sharpens iron. Peed poo. I'm gonna write that. It's gonna pop up as I speak. You know. Um. Don't be selfish. Also. Help someone shine. Helping someone shine will not do me a light. Kitty Metsu said it. Guys, you had it here first. So I'm gonna play a video right now. Anyway, let me put on my glasses so you guys know I'm serious. Okay, one, time management, sweetie. You need to know how to manage your time. Like, plan your day to the T. Sometimes it won't go exactly according to the schedule, but you need to have a schedule, okay? It's gonna take a bit of trial and error in the beginning to figure out what works for you, but a schedule is a must on how you're gonna study, just how you're gonna plan your day, okay? Because work will pile up on you and you just be there like, girl, how did I get here, okay? And we don't want that because it's stressful when you have to save the semester in a, a day, a couple, it's stressful okay 
plan your time. Two guys, don't even be laughing at me, but peer pressure is real, okay? <laughs> like, don't, girl, 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 boy, whatever, you guys, okay? You guys need to learn who you are. Figure yourselves out or else you will be taken by the wind. The wind will swoop you and it's over. Like, it's hard to save you. Like, it's okay to say no to your friends sometimes. It's okay to say, sis, no, I don't want to do this. Sis, no, I don't want to go there. Like, it's okay. And if they don't rock with it, they ain't your friends. Just move, you know? You find your friends. It's okay. But yeah, that's it. Time management peer pressure those are the two top ones oh also guys you know sometimes in uni you have electives never listen to the folks who tell you oh take this course because it's easy no don't take that one because it's hard you know some it's good to hear opinions from other people and get some advice and gauge but you need to know yourself you need to know what you're good at and what you're bad at don't base your judgment over someone else's experience because you and Simangmang are not the same person just because abc is hard for Simangmang doesn't mean abc is going to be hard for you okay so you do that boo and i hope you guys have a great university experience so that was what my bio saying go to get the best advice period you know so yeah i'm gonna say the next piece of advice and this one is from wame and Tara. two women in this video i mean what more um wame says put your all into everything that you do because that's laying your foundation for your future and every day you walk onto campus you realize that you're taking a step closer to achieving your dreams focus on your academic journey own path own race don't be distracted by what other people seem to be doing or aren't doing you're there for yourself and no one else. Fact! If you see someone not attending that lesson, mind your business. If whatever is going on, drama, mind your own business. That's the best advice I can ever give you. Mind your own business. Mind the business that pays you, honey. What business pays you? DTF. So keep doing your schoolwork. Period. <laughs> um, and then she goes on to say, people would tell you that your varsity years are the best and that you should have enjoyed it. And that you should have you should have the best time of your life which i'm not disputing that but you need to remember the main reason for you being in varsity and prioritize it don't get caught up in the fast fun varsity life that you forget your studies she said it here first and then going on to my other friend hana said hana subana said um firstly attend all your lectures Unless it, if it's after exams and they are practice and tutorials, trust me, it's helpful. Um, secondly, find a mentor, someone who will help you get used to how things work, and someone who, and so on, and visit your faculty advisor for help if you get lost along the way, because many people fail to utilize them. Thirdly, budget. This is very important. Like they, everyone here has talked about money, and you know, you know. Budget, I cannot stress this enough. Budget and save, even if it's a hundred pula, whatever you can afford to spare. Also, make use of student discounts. E.g., get it, card. Um, get it, I'll put it right on the screen. Um, get it cards are also available. Are also available for student discounts on Thursdays. They're just available for student discounts. On Thursdays, there's a sale at the fix. And you can lay by if you do if you can't afford to buy something in cash. Um, you aren't rich yet. Um, fourthly, have a hobby, easy sports, join a club, just something apart from academics. You need a breather every now and then, and stay healthy. Fifth, don't take pictures during lectures. You won't look at them later. Facts. <laughs> And if you think you're going to remember by just listening, it's a lie. Right. Fact. 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 Guys, fact. I, I'm gonna put a screen recording of um, pictures of notes that I have on my phone right now. Anyways, number six, make friends, travel, and create great memories. Number seven, take care of your mental health, but at the same time, don't slack and use it, on a, use it as an excuse 
every time you are lazy or neglecting your schoolwork. Um, number eight, have a firm stand and never let anything stand between you and your academics. It's easy to lose yourself out there. So true. So, so, so true. That's, guys? So true. Um, number nine, divorce your self-worth from academics. Failing doesn't mean you're worthless or not smart. Seek help and fix your faults. That's so important. When it comes to schoolwork, just because you fail doesn't mean you're not smart. You're like super smart. It's just, like I said, there's only so much you can do. Period. <laughs> um, and then the, um, O'Neill said, um, don't get, don't get carried away with all the freedom and the sudden loads, the sudden loads amount of money. Just, if there's so much money, relax, sweetie, relax. Learn how to balance social life with schoolwork. Study Saturday to Thursday. So that Friday and Saturday, you're free. Simple. Um, always ask questions in class. And always ask because other students don't understand. If you ask, there are some people that will not raise their hands to actually ask. So you're not only helping yourself, but you're also helping other students. I'm um, other students. You know? Um, the other one is avoid last minute preparations. Avoid. Yay! Gotta avoid, avoid last minute preparations. They're not only, they're not gonna save you, right, in any shape or form. Um, always take some time off when you're overwhelmed. Right. Um, and try to enjoy the experience. I know right now everything is just like, you just said I should, and now you're saying I should, and then now you, I know, I know, honey, I know. I said enjoy, but I also said study. So, but I said enjoy, but then I also said study. Stajoy. Stajoy, baby. Stajoy. <laughs> I'm so annoying. Um, so, I think I'm gonna add another video right now. Hi everyone, Hofan and Gwani here. So, my girl Abaleng Rindo asked me to give some advice to the first years and what to expect when it comes to university life. I have four to five tips. I'm gonna be quick on them, right? Number one, research your course. Whatever it is that you wanna do, make sure that is the one that you want to be doing because you don't wanna spend like, I don't know how many years, or we to testing and then over realize a whole year, no, error. Nobody wants that because we have that situation in school. There's some students who are transferring to other schools because I wanna know yeah, no, I can't do this. I don't think that's what I wanted. And it's a tedious process actually. Going to reapply to a different school, DTF, that's don't nobody want that. If you have or know anybody who's in uh, a year older, a year higher, who's doing the same course, what to expect. They should run you down the term booklet, the curriculum if they have it, so that you get the gist. This guy is not like a shock. Wow, I did not expect these. Number two, group work. You're going to be working with so many people, so many different personalities. So you need to, I guess you need to have the want. But you need to have good communication skills, interpersonal skills. Moral education. Back in like junior school, take them all, bring them together. And we'll talk um, to the patients. Mm? You need to work with your temper because people can set you off. You could be working with lazy people. The top achiever, and you need all the strength you can get. Okay. Number three, you need to consult your lecturers. Please do because last semester, my last semester is the first year. I had to write an essay in 24 hours, and we usually take eight weeks to write that essay because it's really long, and you need to do your research and reference things. Blah blah. blah. It took me 24 hours. My group and I, 24 hours. Actually, that 24 was it was the day in which it was due. So imagine I had to consult a lecturer again. I get it. Some things are making sense here. I can't. I couldn't write my essay. You are in the dark. Let me give you to the light. And so you started writing. So consult your lecturers if there's anything that you do not understand. Number three, study. <laughs> this is um coming from a person who really doesn't study. The only time I study is when I have to write my essay, which is bad. You know, procrastination basically. That is bad. Hope or not, only in a situation whereby you have too much time on your hands, you doing something around, Bo, change it. I know because I've been there. It works for me because you have that, you know, um, procrastination gives you that moment where you're like, oh, 
yeah, I didn't do it. But then I do it later. And then when you do that later, you actually pause, you get a good grade, and you're like, hm, I'm that girl who works under pressure. No, that shouldn't be your life. Because in that short amount of time, the anxiety, the stress that comes with all of that, knowing what you're supposed to do something and you're just doing it last minute, could cause a lot more damage than having done it like well in time honestly so guys just get your facts right literally your little schedule go ring it to go primary you know do that that's fine and last but not least y'all need to see a therapist period <laughs> it could be your mama your daddy rakadi malomaho your grandma and grandfather the school therapist psychologist whatever your mental health is important and school has this thing that just yeah it has a thing and it's true like when people complain on social media it's a thing but sometimes you know what it's a thing just know that you're gonna need somebody to talk to you I, I i can't get into that in detail because wow it's just it's a big deal it's a huge topic but you need your mental health to be in one that's emotional okay that's cognitive and that's what else gonna be three emotional cognitive and behavioral <laughs> i know my shit anyway <laughs> sorry yeah so that's basically it research about your course talk to your lecturers consult your lecturers study um be prepared for group works last but not least get your mental health in check and that's just a few things you'll be you'll be okay and pray <laughs> you need it bye yeah that was my friend funny and she decided to do the things that need to be done and she told you guys i hope you guys listen to her mm -hmm. okay guys so the last piece of advice is from my friend bottom she says study smart thanks hey. study smart study hard and study smart but mostly study smart like bro and the other thing is know yourself what i mean by knowing yourself is she says that you should be able to balance nothing and schoolwork and also when you know yourself you should remember that if you're an on-campus student your parents are there you are there two different places two different environments so you know what to do like actually know what i Hilo 1.3, Hilo 1.3, Hilo 1.3, Hilo 1.3, Hilo 1.3, and I have to utilize this 1.3 props. If your parents give you, if you don't receive a lot of DTF, you can, you know, find something. Like, my last piece of advice as well is, if you want to, and if you can, find another source of income. And then Pono also says, surround yourself with the right crowd. And you can see that everyone here, is saying the same thing study smart surround yourself with the right crowd attend your lectures have time for monati manage your money wisely guys i think i said all the advices i hope i didn't miss anyone's advice if there's an extra advice or a video i'm gonna put them right now anyway thank you guys so much for watching my video i look so pretty like girl i mean i got all i got all <laughs> anyways Guys, I look so pretty and I actually feel like I should sleep like this, but I can't sleep with makeup on. Anyways, I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe to be part of my little family. <laughs> um, so yeah, from me to you is bye and have a wonderful week. I hope this video will go up on a Monday so that you guys have time to listen to it, soak it in, share it with your cousin, share it with your cousin, cousin, share it with your dog, share it with their cats, dogs, friends. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it and from me too.